going to do this here. Recording in progress. All right. Is everybody ready already? Yes. Yep. All right. Let's hit it. Hello, hello, and welcome to our humble little podcast. This is Atlantis After Dark, the greatest place in all of cyberspace. That Elon Musk, he is some wizard, let me tell you. He made a bunch of Twitter users disappear almost overnight. I'll tell you what, I'm ready to go already. I think you guys are too, so let's not waste a ton more time. Let's get right into it and meet today's all-stars. Warming up in the bullpen, he told me he found out his wife had a Tinder profile and he was furious. He said, what a crock of bullshit. She is absolutely not adventurous or fun to be around. It's Biff by Adam West. What's the word, dude? <laughs> What's going on, man? Hey. Just plugging along here. <laughs> enjoying my extra hour to my weekend. Right? This is a, uh, a, a daylight savings episode of Double AD. Yeah. Fall back. Oh, that's the best. That's the best kind. It is. It's the best. I hate it. With my job, when I feel as though I got robbed out of one hour of my weekend, I'm uh -huh. fucking pissed. <laughs> oh, man. You brought back memories of uh, working in the casino for daylight savings time. We had to switch every system almost manually within the same hour every night, every single uh -huh. time from two to three and then from three to two back to two. It sucked. Oh, I just really got a sucked. microwave clock and a <laughs> stove clock and I'm done. Everything else these days is digital. I know. God. It's so nice. Our phone just does it for us. Yeah. My yeah. car even updated on its own. I don't remember normally doing that. Maybe you just forgot to do it last year and it just caught up. That right. might be it. You just, not it just got a whole all. year. The biggest thing about daylight saving time is now you got to change your mindset of when every four hour thing is up, when reset is. And yeah, that's right. You got to make the adjustment. It's not six at seven. Or for your guys' case, it's not, not... Not eight, it's seven. Right, it's not eight, it's seven. Wow. Well, you've given us something to think about right off the bat. Thanks, Biff. And welcome to the show. <laughs> All right. Next up, and last but not least, he's the Sorcerer Supreme of Cyberspace. His neighbor across the street was born in Micronesia. His next-door neighbor was born in Indonesia. He tells them that he was born in the state of Amnesia. That's because his father forgot to wear a condom that night. It's Retmus. What's happening, Big Kahuna? Well, not much, buddy. Just glad to be here, ready to BS a little bit and have some fun. Are you? Yes. All right. I am too. I am too. So um, do we have anything to announce at the, at the beginning of the show, the top of the show? Biff, are you looking for new characters or players or anything? No. No? No. We're, we're covered there. 30 for 30? What's that? Are you 30 for 30? Oh, yeah, we're 30, we're 30 for 30. Right. And I got no. I toyed around with doing another biff, biff, lunge, but it's a lot of work. So. Yeah. Yeah, it is. I'm, think, I'm thinking. I'm thinking of one. All right. Well. But, I, but I'm not going to announce it yet. Keep us posted on that. Yeah, because uh, some, some, some jackass in Germany is going to win, and then how do I get them a fucking T-shirt? <laughs> right? This is always my problem. Every time, every single time I've done the lazy little bitch contest, it's always been somebody overseas. That's one. And I've always uh, had to be like, oh, God dang it, man. Fuck and me. I, I feel so bad because I know the people, the people in like Europe and everything, you want them to win because they get so screwed with tap joy. I know, right? That I that I'm happy when they do win, but then it's like, okay, how did you know? I had the Secret Service call me one time when I tried to send a, <laughs> a freaking Google Play card to Europe once. Like it's it's uh yeah. it's a thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I I I feel you. The international shipping is just terrible, terrible. I don't even know what the hell was going on, but anyways, Retmus, anything with you or, 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 um, of the ilk? Nope. Same old, same old. No. Yeah. We, got, we got a skeleton crew today with no announcements. Buckle yourself in folks. Prepare to be entertained. <laughs> yeah. We, we got a live one here today, kids. All right. Uh, <laughs> then let's not waste any more time. Let's get into some DCL. 
So the first thing that I want to ask um, both of you guys is, uh, I've seen this a lot of this over the last weekend, Atrocitus. Is he OP as F right now or what? I mean, what's the scoop with him? I wouldn't say he's uh, OP. I mean, like I was saying, like on the previous podcast, he's an S tier character as leader. Take him out of leader. He's like a B tier character. Um, everybody's throwing him in as lead just because he gets that tremendous speed boost. Everybody gets a bunch of strength ups and you can pretty much wipe out another team. But, you know, on the, on the flip side, you know, that's, that's only for um, offensive wins. If you do defensive, uh, if you pick the same type of team, you're going to go first and you 90% of the time win. So it's, it's always going to be, I believe, more offensive base tactics to where like if you choose it, the previous type of uh, meta team was uh, what dark side, Supergirl, um, uh, uh, Terra, and I forget who the other one was, but Spectre. that, yeah, Spectre, uh, that one was kind of like pretty much even on offense and defensive wins because it's a really good team setup. Um, I don't really feel the character it's, self is op just his ability as leader but that's the problem see everybody's using him as the leader right and and, and yeah and i know you said that if you um go up against him you know defensively or did you say offense I, defense or offense uh, <laughs> uh, if if you're going up against him and he is the defensive right team, so you're right. fighting against that team right uh if you don't bring something that is faster like you would need like maybe like a martian manhunter and right. a uh brainiac on your team to make sure you go first then you're going to get pretty much wiped out but it, it or if you bring a mirror match you're going to be able to go first so as long as you're able to go first you're pretty much going to win unless you have a really tanky team that can take the hits and fight back and there's not a lot of those so it's basically going to be, since there's all these atrocities out there, you're going to see everybody else choosing an atrocities team. So that's why everything is going to be flooded. So yeah. they're kind of mirror matching it with speed. But like I said, choose uh, Marsh Manhunter as your lead. Uh, B5 is your, uh, I mean, B12. B12. Yeah, has, I don't know why I said B5. B5, anyway, is, B5 yeah. is, is droid. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, if you choose Bradyac, <laughs> you know, so that's an extra boost in your speed. Um, then you're going to go first than the other team. Uh, but a lot of people are trying to do atrocities with uh, Brainiac as well. So it's basically just yeah. turning out as who is the quickest team, who gets to go first wins. It's that's what it's turning into. Where before it was more like you could make the tankier team and survive it. You didn't have to go first, but that's kind of where this atrocitus is leading it right now into the more of like the speed meta type thing again. Yeah. It's going back to that, but I, I think the, so there are other counters other than speed, but Brett, you're absolutely right. The speed is, is probably the most effective, um, you know, Kitty little posted in the owl chat and I've had not as good success with it, but the retaliation back girl teams, um, for some people are working. My problem really is Supergirl is kind of my my Batgirl team's kryptonite, and she she tends to be there a lot too. So even if you're mm -hmm. going first, the fact that when you hit their team and she procs, gives somebody death immunity or whatever the case may be, it can throw it off the rails. So I have no problem beating the Atrocitus teams. I think I've lost to one so far. That's it. But I've never seen more plus threes on my wrath board um, <laughs> ever. So what my concern is tonight when, when siege kicks off, what is this siege going to look like? Wow. Yeah. Um, when these OP leaders come out and maybe not OP, but just really good. I tend to stay away from them. I don't use Aquaman. I don't you, I'm not, I've yet to use Atrocitus. Um, I tend to not like to copy what, people came out with this these new comps i try to figure out other ways to beat them right um i do use martian manhunter so uh, that is one i i have used she's probably my you know the probably the i think i only used five of the current s tier characters ever um but I, i'm actually really concerned about this siege to see 
it, it could really get off the rails and really frustrate a lot of people. Um, if you're, you know, we could see more losses in this one than we've seen before, especially for me, because if I'm not going to go the HRO route, I, I don't know if I might be forced to because he is a bonus mm -hmm. um, and might try it out. But, you know, the call assists he has in his two and his three lead to a lot of attacks. And if Supergirl's there and you are trying something different or have any reds on the table, even with stacks of evasions, um, it, it, if Supergirl starts to go off and have three, four turns, you know, with her basic because she's enraged, which is an AOE, um, yeah, it can it can get a little crazy. I'm not I'm not concerned about him. I'm I'm not you know I don't have my uh, you know Nerf torch out by any stretch of the imagination. Um, but yeah, this this siege could be interesting. Yeah. And yeah, I want to trust this with Supergirl is that's what's OP. Right. <laughs> Giving her all their strength up. Yeah. Right off the bat. And then she just annihilates team. She she'll wipe out specters. Oh you know? no. My RB5 Spectre one shotted by the basic. Or no, no, excuse me, RB4 Spectre. Because I never take the meta characters RB5. I just I take if I use them, I take them to RB4. But a RB5 Supergirl one-shotted my RB4 complete health Spectre with her basic. It's under Atro. So That's they, really I mean, cool. that was a one that was a one-off, but but still. So uh, this is a first for me. I never uninstalled the game, right? So I, I I logged into the game for the first time while you were talking there, Biff. And uh, in a long time, because I wanted to see, because I used to have, well, I used to, I still do. I have uh, an RB1 Atrocitus. And I have enough for him to actually almost be RB3. In fact, if I was still playing, I would have probably bumped him up to RB3. I guess well, listen, we, you could you could just fucking do it right now. It's not, I, I bet you have twenty <laughs> RB crystals. Like it, it, it doesn't mean you have to play with them, but I bet you, no, you can do it. No, no, um, well, probably, but no, um, yeah, there it is. This little red up de doos. Um, that's amazing. That's amazing. What happened, by the way? Why is the screen all fucking wonky? Is the resolution messed up? No, no, but all my tunes are, are scrambled at the bottom of the fucking phone. You see that? It doesn't look off. What huh. are you talking about, man? It's, no, it's, it's the bottom. This is riveting, riveting podcast. Right, this is fucking great We're trying great to read stuff. your screen to the group. Okay, here. Can you see this shit? Because this is fucking this is, ridiculous. Can we, can, we get, can we get Black Flash and... Uh, Right and Zuzu back on to live stream. Right, um, but 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 you see where 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 the gear is half missing. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, I got gotcha. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, I was reading somewhere on uh, I think it was somewhere on Reddit where they were talking about there was a resolution problem. I guess with certain phones, where right. it was like crunching stuff off or zooming things in. Okay, and and, and see what the bad thing is. Uh, I brought this up a long time ago. Uh, it's a Unity game, right? So yeah. whenever they make menus and stuff, those menus are based off of the current screen resolution that it's preset. So like they go in there and say, okay, I'm going to set this at 1920 by 1080 is the default screen. But then you come up with a screen that's like 2000 by like 1400. It's got to compress and change those according to where all the bars are at the bottom or all the bars at the top. You know, they move up, you know, and move down because the screen is smaller or taller according to the screen size. And that's what throws everything off. Right. Uh, they, there's a, a new UI toolkit that they have that is based off percentages of the screen. So if you say, I want this 10% by 20% of the screen size, it will always be that size. But that has to do with like their new, it's really an XML format, but I think they call it like UML for Unity markup language or something like that. They change it and put all U's in front of it, which it's the same thing. It's just like CSS, regular like web type interface. So that way it doesn't matter what size you make the stuff, it will stay at that size. But of course, I don't expect, you know, 
Warner Brothers, DC Legends, you know, to go back and recode all of their interface to the new format. That's like a tremendous ask. So they'll have to figure out some other way to fix it. I know I got into that issue when I was just making a, a simple little game for my wife to play that it, uh, when I was doing uh, 1920 by 1080, then I switched it to the Pixel 6 and its resolution is like 2000 by 1400, completely threw everything off. And the screen was like shoved over sideways and they were scrunched. So I just had to go through basically the six main resolution sizes and try and find one that fit everything the best. And that's what the problem is. You, you just can't make it perfect unless you go to that new interface. Yeah. So I guess iPhone 13 is off the menu. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> the, the, uh, the point I was going to try and make with, with all of this is... Um, with an RB3 Atrocitus and an RB4 Supergirl, would I have the ultimate meta team in this game? Ooh, that'd be pretty damn good. You could make a siege run like the old days when you right. used to go for World's Finest. Remember that? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'd know. Neither, neither do I. <laughs> uh, that was the other AB. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was some other AB you had, right? Yeah, it was in the multiverse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was, that was Earth 2 AB. That's yeah. it. Earth where 2 he, AB. Where you would get world's <laughs> finest for into, for uh, alliance points and um, siege. Right? Are you sure that's not Bizarro World? <laughs> <laughs> Bizarro Jesus. AB. Yeah, Bizarro AB. Uh, but anyways, no. You have uh, a really good team. You really, I mean, just right. by those two alone it's really really controlling yeah i mean i don't i mean does that would, would would a specter help in that situation at all i mean uh, a specter's always going to help it. versus okay. a green okay. um yeah you know but he but, purges the uh, enrage yeah i mean he's always going to help but um i would make a case because i do rankings of every affinity um so i have like a big board that just ranks mm -hmm. best characters in each affinity like one to whatever it is, 60, 65, depending on the affinity. And there's a case to be made. I have her number two right now. Um, as, as far as greens, I have Supergirl as the second best green in the game. And there could be a case now with Atro that she would be the number one green in the entire game. Wow. Wow. And there are some good greens. That's mighty high praise. Yeah. I know, right? I I know if you, I do, uh, just to be a butt, I'll do like um, Atrocitus, Brainiac, Supergirl, and Connor. Oh, oh yeah. And it's it pretty much wipes the floor. Because even if you have can't miss, like I went up a team that had an RB5 Batgirl, RB5 Harley Quinn, and, I, and a Cassie. Yes, it was me. And a Cassie. Well, it had RB5. to be me then. All three of those were RB5s. I think I'm the only one with all three of those RB5. And well, it might have been you. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, we'll, we'll have to check. But uh, when Atrocitus went off, Connor just like killed Cassie right off the bat because he had true sight on. And Well, it uh, was me. You posted it. Oh, okay. Well, then it was you. I wiped <laughs> out the evasion cop with only one character with a can't miss, but he was so beefed up. That he just wiped everybody out because of atrocitus. Yeah, that's, well. it's gonna be. Oh, and by the way, isn't Wally West a siege bonus? Oh, you know, I don't remember. I think he. I think he is. This siege is going to be a fucking shit show. You know, because <laughs> Wally. I mean, it's not like he's like. Well, he's like, gonna. He's going to be the answer with the, for the Brainiac Atro. Like, you're going to need to bring him. So this is just going to be a speed shit show siege. Yeah. I just, I'm just, I, I might not even it's, play. Yeah, it might not be that fun. And it's Plastic Man. I mean, he will be cool to have because I love his animations. But from what I've been hearing, he's not that great of a character. Yeah, of course they will nerf him before he this, even comes this out. This siege. Okay, so PSA. For all the people out there, do not get frustrated this siege. I, I yes, know a lot of people um, are frustrated with the game, you know, bugs, things like that. These bonus characters for siege, and I don't have the list in front of me. I could probably look it up real quick, but you know, it's better um, to go for a straight twelve with non-bonus characters. Yeah, this is this is going to be a frustrating siege for everybody. 
thankfully, I don't shoot <laughs> for top 20 <laughs> for those things. So, cause then I would be really frustrated. Um, just have fun. Agreed. Don't worry about it. Get, get some plus 12s. Like if you have to, and, um, let the, let the top 20 players in the world get stressed out. Right. There you go. Good advice. Right. Let him four hike for that. He can. Yeah. Hey, you know what I do like Biff? I'm able to use my uh, RB5 Grundy with Atrocitus, and I love it. Oh, okay, because in Rage. Yeah. And plus, Tootie could ups. probably, by the way, Tootie probably could use his RB5 Aries Ooh, yeah. with some success in this as well. Yeah. So, in Rage, maybe in Rage is making a comeback. Maybe. Maybe. All right. Well, on the oh, heels of that, it's on atrocitus. the heels. Yeah, it's, it's Atrocitus. <laughs> <laughs> On the heels of that, uh, let's let's go over this. Uh, we we got another new entry in from uh, Doctor Jonathan Crane, and um, he is going to unveil a new segment today on us. And I think he calls this one um, the Lore King. Uh, but let's let's go ahead and, and uh, give that a listen. Welcome. This is Dr. Jonathan Crane for Atlantis After Dark. Pull up a chair and mix yourself a drink. You can be sure I am. Today we're here for a new segment called Lore King in the Lounge. Where we talk about the comic lore of this month's new characters in DCL. But your beloved Dr. Crane is not qualified to do that. So I needed a nerd. You've never heard his voice, but you have read his frightening musings in the deepest, darkest depths of discord. It's AADs lurking get it lore king in the lounge <laughs> lurking the floor is yours two new characters two comic lores enlighten us thank you for having me dr craig i got some stuff for you today so grab on your burlap and we'll get going okay now first up we have the punk rock princess of Apocalypse, Grail. Now, Grail is a newer character. She kind of was one of the last things that dropped out of the dirty sector that was the new 52, but she's pretty interesting. The child of an Amazon warrior and dark side the goddess evil. So she's got some problems. You know, being the daughter of the god of evil was bad enough, but let's face it, Darkseid's favorite outfit is a sleeveless micro mini dress by high go go boots. I'm not judging the man, but you know, problems. So, raised by her mother to hate Darkseid, she teams up with probably the only person in the DC universe, even eviler than Darkseid, the anti monitor. And they have a knockdown drag out that involves the Justice League, lots of explosions, and the new gods. And I won't get too spoilery, but she kind of bit. After that, just to show you the exact shade of red all of her flags are, she decides she's going to resurrect her father that she hates and make him her mindless slave. That's really interesting. It sounds like. A bizarro job of the hut in Princess Leia. I can say the slave being the ugly one is frightening. <laughs> <laughs> so, after that, she goes and decides she's going to, because Dark Side, as she's born, he's a baby. Sigmund Floyd would have a boner for this chick, I swear. Now, so she decides to age Dark Side up so he'll be a fitting mindless slave. She's going to kill demigod. So she goes to where all the demigods are, places like Themyscira, where she kills a bunch, including Hercules, and then gets into another hair pulling contest with Wonder Woman. 
Suffice it to say, Darkseid doesn't want to be a slave. And chaos ensues. And we haven't really seen Grail since then. She's that new. Well, all right. How about, since we're dealing with parenting issues, how about Plastic Man? Oh, Plastic Man. Plastic Man is a favorite of mine. He wasn't for a long time, but he, in the last 20 years, he's become a favorite. He's one of the older characters still active in the DC universe. He's all the way from 1941. And he has one of the best sets of powers in the entire DC universe. He can turn himself into anything. Hot air balloon, mailbox, park bench, bicycle seat, women's underwear. Again, I don't judge, I'm just reporting the fact. So, they tried to reboot him about six or seven times since the 50s. It wasn't really until the 90s that he started to get popular when they put him on the Justice League. And probably the biggest story that he was in was the Obsidian Age, where the Justice League go back in time, fight an evil Justice League of the ancient world, and they all die. Again, I won't get too spoilery. Go and read it. It's pretty good. But right before this happens, we find out Plastic Man has something he doesn't want, which is a kid. His son, Luke. Not only has he had a kid, the kid has his powers. And he's almost better at it than Plastic Man. It's a team up with Batman. I would recommend anyone who likes comics to read it. You'll laugh your ass off. Fear of Parenthood. <laughs> Me too. But I'm guessing that's where the simil similarities between Dr. Crane and Plastic Man end. Probably. You like Burlap more than he does. <laughs> well, Atlantis After Dark fans, I think we've given you a basis for the two new characters in comic lore. I want to thank Lurking as our guest lore king in the lounge and we will see you next time when two new characters i've never heard of come to d c l <laughs>Well, thank you, Dr. Crane, for that uh, informative and uh, amusing uh, report on the uh, lore, the uh, the lore king. Oh, Burger Shack, eat your heart out. <laughs> there's, a, there's a new kid in town, huh? <laughs> My God, we're breaking new ground here, folks, on Double AD. Oh, just copycat. <laughs> Jesus. We steal Kage's name. We steal the Burger Shack. What else is next? <laughs> No, um, <laughs> but yeah, so, um, let's talk a little bit since we brought it up, uh, let off with the process a little bit. Let's go into grail a little bit. Uh, now she's been available. She's been, uh, I, I guess you can farm her now or you can do her event. Um, free, she's the free character yeah, her yeah. Event started on Friday. Right. Right. So, um, what are your guys' early thoughts on, on Grail? Or do you have any early thoughts? Um, well, I, I had heard somewhere, and I don't remember the the source, that she could be one of these raid characters, you know, based on building up special damage and things that could be valuable as a non-bonus. Right. I was talking a little bit with Hawkeye in the in the owl chat and he didn't seem to think so so i'm not don't want to report that by any stretch so i was very interested in her at first um a lot of special damage um crit chance ups intelligence ups um you know some damage but I, i'm not hearing glowing things now um where originally i think i was a little excited about it about the possibility of um having her she does have she does have a aoe with can't miss which is interesting right um that's always a nice you know uh nice thing depending on how much damage she's doing could that be another yara floor um dr poison nuke a who know aoe who oh, knows yeah. 
Um, I haven't spent a lot of time with her yet. I mean, I, I just have her, I have her geared level, level 80 and all that stuff, but haven't, haven't dug into her quite right. too much. Um, as I said, originally based on some things I read from some various people, I was a little bit excited. Um, but now maybe it's a little tempered. Right. I mean, even I was slumming it around, um, uh, read it the other day and I was real. I think I read something about somebody who uh, thought that she was really good with dark side. Like, like you pair her with, right. with dark side. There's, some, there's just, something in her kit. About right. Yeah. Dark side. Um, I played around just a little bit with her when we first started on here. And I know if you can team her up with dark side and let's just say, um, Tara, for example. So right. dark side already has his ability, right? His leader ability. Uh, when she does her basic, uh, she'll get five in ups off her basic automatically, and then she'll attack twice. So she'll end up with 10, uh, end ups right nice. off the bat of her, uh, on her okay. basic, which her passive, if, uh, if you choose her, um, legendary, uh, it's if, if she has five plus in ups, then she also applies a doom to uh, a random enemy as well. So she can be handing out dooms pretty much every time she gets to go on off of her basic. And then she has, you know, an 85% chance to convert any debuff she has on herself to end ups as well. So she's going to be stacking up end ups like crazy. Yeah. And I think the time time with dark side there's on her two it says if other members of acropolis are on the team grail gains two additional intelligence ups so i, I think it's just maybe that's why someone had said that this right. is a possible raid character moving forward obviously she'll she'll probably be very good as a multiplier yeah. um but yeah this is just a stacker of intelligence ups which could lead to a, a real decent amount of damage to more Wonder Girl cannon fodder. Yeah, and it, well, and, and also since <laughs> Dark Side, it, Dark Side is officially a raid essential. Yeah. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe there is a window there. I I do not know yet. Uh, need to know need that. to play a little bit more with her. Yeah, too. we won't even know that till January. Yeah, yeah right. Because you're not yeah, getting a raid in December. Exactly. So we'll we'll have her as a multiplier. We'll get a sense of what she's going to do in November, uh, and then we won't be able to test it out as a non-multiplier until uh, January. Have, have they confirmed that, that they're not going to do December again like they normally do? They just never do. I mean, I, I, can't, I can't imagine them getting more uh, adventurous and, and give themselves more work. Because it'll, uh, it'll fall probably right about Christmas time, the Christmas week when raids would probably happen. Yeah. No, they haven't done it. I mean, have they ever done a raid in Christmas? I don't they do think it, like, so. Like the first time? I think maybe they the do it the first, first time and they Did got they? backlash? Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I can't remember. I mean, my memory is fuzzy as is. Yeah, but I don't remember. But maybe they did. Maybe they did once, and then it just it just fell yeah. flat. Yeah. I know. No one knew you drank those brain cells away. So <laughs> I just, listen, I just, listen. I don't stress out about anything. You want to give me? You want to give me a raid on Christmas weekend? That's fine. I will be the first one to tell our alliance. You don't have to do nothing. Yeah, and but by the way, it's it's all relative too. It's like when it falls on Thanksgiving, it's all oh, relative. Yeah. The numbers are down of because course. people in the United States just aren't putting in the work, right? Um, which is fine, you know. And real life is always first. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Well, you know, I mean, the, these might not be characters that we. I mean, like Plastic Man was a big request for a long time. Oh sure. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen a request for Grail ever. But, you know, at least 50%, they're giving a character that has been requested. So, I mean, there's as long as they're still giving us new characters, I mean, they're not all going to be S tier. As long as they're playable, that's all I care about. As long as they don't give us a complete trash tier character that we can't use, that we spend all our resources building up to try out, and then we're like, crap, we can't even use this anywhere. I'm fine with that. You know, as long as they just keep giving us, you know, a B character. I would, I would like a, a C plus B minus at the very minimum. I don't, yeah. I don't, I haven't seen, and maybe, you know, the audience can share with us in our discord server. They can correct me, but I don't remember too many, maybe since Garth, um, too many just trash tier characters released. 
mm-hmm. like you know generally with the power creep and everything they're, they're releasing them at least with some sort of value um, agreed in my in my just quick memory without looking back garth would be the last one i would think of that was released as just pure trash um but i you know i don't know that maybe someone can correct me but even dr crane made reference to it in the lore king and the lounge um you know two characters you you've never heard of but even dr crane has heard of a few the last couple of months you know yeah. they have brought out some some people that we have heard of yeah you know yeah. classic man i grew up on that the cartoon yeah um, the cartoon was so, fantastic yeah. who didn't yeah. love that cartoon oh god fantastic i have the theme song to that cartoon by the way so, so question, maybe I just got a quick question. Yeah. So if, when they announce the wonder twins come out, are you going to jump back in the game? If they announce it, you will, you will receive pressure. That's me. right. Me too. I know that. Don't, don't, At least for the month. don't tease me. Shape <laughs> of a bucket of water. Go Shape on. of a bucket of cash. <laughs> The shape of AB logging in, right? <laughs> well, no, we already had we already broke that barrier today. Uh, uh, true. I mean, true. shit. He just he just yeah. RB three to his atro. <laughs> I could have. You're right. I could have. Oh boy, there it is. There it is. So let me know if you guys can hear this. That's great. From out of the pages of DC Comics comes the world's newest and greatest superhero, Plastic Man. He can spring. He can stretch. He can fly. He can bounce. He can change his shape. And he can even dance. (laughs) Each week, Plastic Man will face the world's greatest collection of villains. There's action, there's comedy, there's danger. What was that, Biff? Are you going to get a nasty gram for putting that in there? Remember, remember when we when we had the the um, Batman 66 huh? fight music in the background? <laughs> YouTube was like, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> Take that down. I was like, how do they know? How yeah, do, I don't how know. Do they know. It's like the it's like the digital equivalent of get off my lawn, kids. You and your fancy uh, contraptions. It's yeah. like it's like the it's like the they know they the internet sees all. God, man. It's like when you're shopping for something and then the next two weeks it's just the pop ups are just yeah, AI. Boom, boom, boom. It's like, you know, you had told me when we used that Batman sixty six music mm-hmm. in the background of a crane bit <laughs> that you got messages right away. So oh, yeah. Please cease and desist of using this proprietary <laughs> sound. <laughs> uh, well, maybe DC will, will come down on me for uh, uh, posting a little the, bit of that. The producer of Batman 66 was one of our 2,000 listeners to that one episode, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I forget what the exact uh, fair use uh amount is, but you're allowed to like play so, so long. Right. I think maybe it's only like maybe like eight or 10 seconds or something. I'm not yeah. sure. Oh, that was I don't know how today, these t- today was more than 10 seconds. And so was well, our Batman 66. Well, yeah. And I mean, look, I didn't play the entire thing. Um, True. But I, I, here's the thing, right. And I don't want to dwell on, on, on re- what we're calling this plastic man gate for whatever reason, but uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> look, if they tell me to fucking rip it out, I'll, I'll rip it out. But you know, I, I don't think we're going to have any problems because you I look at these, either. You look at these like reaction videos you see on YouTube. You've seen these, right? These these mm-hmm. kids and they sit down in front of like the computer and they look all oh and shocked and surprised that they're listening to music and shit. So I mean, come on, this is a podcast for fuck's sake. Yeah, there's no there's no bad publicity, right? No, no, fuck them. <laughs> fuck them. Teach them like <laughs> that's what I say. <laughs> that's my motto in life. Fuck them. All right. Uh, on that let's get into the starro event uh the the anniversary what do we know about starro for for all intents and purposes i don't mean lore wise i mean what the hell do we know about this event so far uh one thing we know 
It's coming up in five days and six hours. To my app. <laughs> and Robin <laughs> is the rewards. And they have and they have Robin, uh, Damian Wade, uh, right. front and center. There is a normal and a legendary mode. I'm looking at it right now. Okay. So that that kind of makes me just think it's the same type of event that uh, is for Superwoman. It's just uh, a Starro story, but it's just a legendary and normal event for Robin. That would be what it looks like. It could be if you go back to the fourth. Well, let's not go back to the fourth anniversary because that one was awesome. We did a great job on the fourth anniversary, then mm. served as a shit burger for the fifth anniversary. <laughs> um, but, but if you, oh. if you, you put ketchup at, on that, what's yeah, a little ketchup <laughs> on your shit burger? Um, oh. the they were nightmare like without nightmare challenges, you know, yeah. not like the the nightmare, you know, that we just went right. through with the, the RNG. Last one. It was more like that structure of event, though, a multi-tiered um, takedown, you know, the other the other group. So right. I'm guessing, Remus, you're probably right. This is just like the the normal and legendary event they do every month. It's not very challenging, certainly not to end game players. Um, but hopefully what they do in this, in the sixth anniversary event, is just beef up rewards you know, give us a couple RB crystals. Give us a, you know, you don't have to redo what you did in 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 the fourth anniversary, which was they just killed it and they just gave us a shitload of everything. Yeah. Um. But just you know, listen, if we can grab a couple RB crystals and you know for for five hundred gems on energy, great. Great. That's what I say too. Uh -huh. yeah. To you this know, point, I'm not. To this point, I'm not entitled. There'll be people that complain, right? right. On Reddit, I don't. Oh, talk about e that even if we bit. get one RB crystal, it's like, why can't they give us three? Yeah. If they gave us yeah. three, it's like, why can't they give us five? It's a free yeah. RB crystal. It'll always so, be. There'll always right. be complaints. Exactly. And by right. the way, you know how proud of I am of myself. You know how many RB crystals I have right now? I have thirty-three. Holy Ooh. shit! I never ever got to the point where I had ten and didn't have them <laughs> earmarked for something. I know you're. You are. Um... Uh, a, a gem hoarding fool. Oh no, I'm I'm, I'm not to the point of witty or BF or anything <laughs> right. like that. That just has a hundred, right. but I'm getting there. Right. Um, I'm just I I, got, I have things to do, and I have, I have yeah. people that I want to RB five, yeah. and I'm and I don't have anyone right now that I'm like. I have so many crazy about that I want to RB five but I've got to pick and choose wisely. So mine's slowly storing up. I have like 26 right now. Okay. And I'm just like, uh, I don't know what to use and what, because so I, I can't get shards of the, the four people I want to RB five. Mm. You know, they took my siren away out of the common. I know. And I just got enough gave me her. as a board, gave me a, gave me a, her as a board clear, but I figured out I had to clear fucking six boards a day for the month Ugh. to RB five. Or I'm like, Nope, that ain't going to happen. So, yeah. Well, speaking. oh, and by the way, shout out to JP who, who did the right thing. He sent me the message first and then he announced it on one of the servers, I think DCL4E, but um, JP uh, RB5 Jesse Quick. Uh, no. So now Hawkeye stole my RB5, Manta Unique, and now JP stole my Jesse Quick RB5 Unique. So, well. Fuck you to both of you guys, but, <laughs> but but if but if anyone, but if two people were to be the ones that took it from me, I would have chose both of you. There we go. Well said. Um, I, I I was gonna use something that was brought up earlier as a weak segue into um, this next little bit that I'm gonna close out the show with today. Um, I thought to myself, you know what? We give Reddit a lot of shit. And I want to take the time to highlight a positive aspect of Reddit for uh, a change. That doesn't mean we'll always do it, but today we're doing it. And this is a little bit that I like to call, I read it on Reddit. And we'll take a random topic here that looks like it's a good question. And here's one. This is from... 
So Pit Rugby Baller. <laughs> yeah, great name, buddy. And he writes, what is the best strategy against disease teams? Between Trigon and Punchline, it seems like disease teams are becoming more common. Do certain characters seem to work better? What are your guys' thoughts? Well, it depends on what the uh, characters are like he was listing. I mean, if it's someone like Trigon, you have to take him out first because he's just going to start putting disease everywhere. When you have so, to stun him too. Yes. Right away. Yes. Right away. Stun you him right away. Stun Trigon right away. Uh, you want to use characters that can have true sight, that can get to him. Like Connor's a good example. He'll stun him, plus Connor can get true sight. Uh, maybe a Black Canary lead. So everybody starts with true sight and you can immediately yeah. go straight to Trigon. Uh, that's this. What's how you want to set your teams up just to be able to get rid of him first, because if you end up letting him live, like I've, I've happened to had it before where he'll have a little sliver of life, maybe like probably one hit point of life. But since he was alive, then he'll just start diseasing everything. So, I mean, that that's your best, uh, defense slash offense against those types of teams. Yeah, I mean, I mean, obviously, to, to buff immunity characters, I don't need to see any more Terra in the game than I already do. Uh, but you know, people that give you your team to buff immunity, obviously, yeah. How? Uh, what's Hal Jordan? Hal Jordan. Um, but you know, um, punchline can get around that a little bit. But mm -hmm. you know, the the more you can keep your team to buff immune and all of that, you can't do it forever. Obviously, but as Retma said, if you can keep them at bay early and kill the Trigon or whatever the case may be, um, you can still survive. D disease is interesting. It's, 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 you know, my Trigon's RB2. Um, you know, it is fun sometimes to watch people faint <laughs> <laughs> as you're just sitting there playing and all of a sudden it's poof, poof, poof. Yeah. Um, so it, it is more common. And I know 2D loves the fact that disease is, is more prevalent these days. Mm. Uh, he's got a lot of great thoughts on that as well. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's go on to the next question here. And that is, what is the best source for green and blue rings? Upgrade events cost 500 gems. That's expensive. And that was sent in by Ratchet51. Well, Ratchet, um, <laughs> there's really no good answer. I'll right. give you the worst answer is buying them in the shop. Right. Um, yes. That's just, frankly, offensive. The, the returns <laughs> that, that there are to buy gems in, in the shop. Highway robbery. Um, what I would tell you is, depending on what rings you are trying to farm, there are certainly um, nodes of that, uh, those, of those five nodes that are best. If you're farming both green and blue, probably the second node is the best. If you're farming um, just blue, the fourth node is the best. And if you do want um, the silver and the black rings as well, the fifth node is the one to go to. So um, you'll get to a point where green will no longer matter to you. Um, Amen but to that. Blue, but blue will also, blue will always be a need if you are an aggressive uh, ringer of your of your group. I, I now have nine characters left that are not fully ringed. Um, so I have... I have spent a lot of time figuring out the best way to gather rings. So I have nine characters left that are ring five. Um, wow. Yeah. That's all I have left. That's I'm getting a, to the point. I, I play this game for rings. roster building. And that, that was actually my idea for a possible Biff, Biff challenge. Like I have nine characters left that are level 70. So they're not maxed at 80. Yeah. They're ring five. They're all gear 11. They're all L4 and above. But those are my only characters that aren't complete. And there are three of each affinity. I was going to do a Biff Biff challenge to have people guess and see how many of the nine they could get that I've left on my <laughs> uh, on my outcasts of DCL. Right. Three red, three yeah. blue, three green. Well, I mean, if you want to like tell someone about getting all their blue rings and stuff that they need 
we have there's what two events essential powers yep. and um oh shoot was essential and fearsome essential yep. and fearsome powers you get those twice a week and then you get both of those again on saturday it yep. uh, reset so you can farm four times a week to get those um clearing uh up to stage 10 well you don't actually technically have to clear stage 10 of red alerts you could pick the first match and just go in there and hit retreat 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 as long as you have 10 battles you will get one blue ring from that and if you beat 27 pvp Some matches PvP. then you'll get three from there that's yep. your whole collective ability of getting all the blue rings possible for the week yeah, unless you unless you sec chewed tap joy uh, yeah. doing the five hundred <laughs> gems for uh, to refresh those um, Red ring alerts. events or oh or yeah. Not. And by the yeah. way, I have after a nice raid shadow legends twenty minutes. <laughs> I've I've, I, I, I've refreshed I've refreshed a few ring events, but I don't go crazy on that because it's not your best use of of gems. Yeah. So no. every day, pretty much, if you do the PVP uh, and the red alerts, you'll get four a day of blue rings. And then you've got four of the main events that are opened up on the weekly basis. That's about yep. all you can do. The only unless thing, unless you pay. Yep. Do not buy the, any of the, uh, I joked on Discord the other day, I almost once bought that. Uh, um. 10,000 legendary essence for 7,000 gems just because I Ooh. want it off my sail board because it just annoys me to look at it. Yeah. Um, but none of those, none of those essence or ring sales are anywhere even close to um, a good return on your money. I think it would have came right back because I think it's just a stapled. Uh... No, that's like a one time thing. Oh, is I don't it really? It I don't think that one comes back. Oh, okay. I don't know. I never purchased it. Never will. Yeah. That's like the no, worst possible thing. It just thing. sits there. I mean, phew, that is so No, horrible. I could do that for 400 gems. <laughs> I could do it for 400 gems. And they're asking for, just for just name that too. I can do that in 400 gems, Alex. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> I, could, I, I could get that. Ex I could get, uh, I think like a couple hundred, like just maybe a couple hundred short of 10K. Right. For 400 gems. Oh. And they're you asking, get, and, and they're asking for they're they're asking for seven thousand. Because you get two thousand four hundred for completing right. your uh, three times. I do times. that four times. Yeah, I'm ninety six hundred. Yeah, that's sad. Yeah. You know, I would much rather invest my money into DC Legends than inside of Tap Joy. Correct. Or they must be getting some major kickbacks from Tap Joy. You know advertisement to be able to do that because if they would just either double their gym value in here or cut the price in half either one i'd rather do that and they would get the money directly right but also you you also see yes they are getting a good amount from tap joy but you also see the gravy chain train ending on certain things you see olay being pulled mm -hmm. um from android so obviously DCL sees that oh boy you know what we're getting back is not the equivalent of what we're giving out mm -hmm. on these gems and I think someone told me that on iOS there's no um more cat tap joy as of this this coming three times that hasn't even kicked in yet oh that they're removing tap joy no that I, I believe iOS no longer has Olay deals. Oh, okay. I, I'm not iOS, so I don't know. But someone in our alliance who is iOS said no more tap, uh, no more Olay. Olay. So I, I think they're evaluating these things and they're seeing what they're what they are getting, what DCL is getting um, versus what they're getting back from TapJoy. So I think that's why you see some offers getting pulled. Right mm -hmm. now in, in Droid, there's just no reason to do any of the, the buying of anything. Right. I mean, I think it's like if I spend $50 in the, the NFL shop, I get like 1,700 gems. Like that, like it doesn't make sense anymore. So I, I, I to your point, I wish that the shop would um, make something that was decent that we could put, put our money directly 
um, to Warner Brothers and, and DCL if if it makes sense. All that's right. a lot about that. Mm-hmm. That's all you get to say about that. I no, that's a lot. We just, <laughs> geez, we, we just, we're crushing this Reddit. Segment. Right? I know. Holy crap. <laughs> you guys were killing it today. But oh. unfortunately, it's time for us to kind of wrap this thing up. Let's take it around the horn and get everybody's last word. Retmus, take us to church, pal. Oh, I just want to say thankful for you guys uh as usual you know jumping on here and um i don't always i don't want to feel like i always preach you know at the end um i just have best wishes for everybody and you know it, it all comes down to plain and simple treat everybody how you would like to be treated and we would have a better place and i'm out oh okay that's it I, I thought that was, you know, That's as they it. say in theater, dramatic pause. But I, wow, okay. Well, I didn't want to go into a bunch of stuff because I don't want to feel like I preach all the time. Because oh, don't I worry. don't want to be that type of person. I just want to spread goodwill. That's all. Oh, we know that. It, it, it's almost disheartening that you're not. I don't know what to do. Okay, here we go. Um, <laughs> you kind of worry about pleasing other people, people get in this mindset where, you know, I want you to think about it like this, worry about pleasing yourself, because if you're not truly happy, how do you know what that really is? How do you know if you can make others happy? You know, a lot of people spend the time with like, oh, what does this person think? What does that person think? You know, start with yourself, get yourself in a good position where you have good thoughts, good feelings then push those out to others try to help others out because if you're not happy with yourself or the state that you are in how do you expect to make other people happy so treat yourself right there you go well thanks buddy see was that so hard no not yeah. really no i could keep going but <laughs> like i said <laughs> it's all good Thank you very much, buddy. We always appreciate you. Biff, you get the last word today. Yeah, by the way, I treated myself right at 930 this morning watching a soccer match by cracking a beer. <laughs> so I'll let you all know that one. There you go. Um, Did you pour it on your cornflakes? No. Are you like a real no, man? I had like a nice, fucking, nice yeah. big uh, ham, egg, and cheese oh, and a couple wow. of brewskis. Wow. Okay. For, that sounds for, good. Uh, European soccer match, 9.30 hey, this morning. I, I had a steak, egg, and cheese bagel from McDonald's today, and it was Ooh, awesome. No, it kid, was no. awesome. Come on. Hey, Come on, I was out. I didn't have breakfast, and I was just like, I'm hungry, and it was like right there, and I was like, okay, I'll get this, God. but oh. it was so good. Now, oh, the hash no. brown, looked, it was like they just took it no. and dipped it in straight grease, so I oh, couldn't yeah. eat that. No McDonald's, dude. <laughs> we are too old for McDonald's, man. <laughs> <laughs> under hey, any circumstances I have an we are too stomach. old for mcdonald's mine's iron it's not rusted yet so oh, i'm still using it until uh, it fails no way yeah. can't do it <laughs> i have to agree with biff on this one oh, I, yeah, I, I can't, can't do, do the mcdonald's anymore oh that seems like such a seems like such a good idea at the time <laughs> and it never <laughs> ends well no you're paying for it trust you me uh, by the way I had, a, I had a buddy once we were in dallas Okay, we, we, we used to go to like a big college football game every year. Uh, these are my college buddies. And we just, we, we drank them up pretty hard. And we were in a Denny's the next morning. And he ordered a meat lover's skillet from Denny's. And this thing came out, and this is a big fella. He's like 6'4", 280, you know, big athlete, good dude. His name is Darren. He just looks at that thing. And he picks it up and he walks away from the table. And we go, Darren, where are you going? And he goes, I'm just going to cut out the middleman and just pour this directly into the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, so anyway, pretty good. yeah. So as Rem said, I'm out. I don't need, I don't, I don't need to, <laughs> I, I told my Denny's story from my mid twenties. Um, <laughs> Oh, That's a wrap. Denny's. <laughs> what did Denny's ever do to you, man? Oh, 
Not good things. Poor, <laughs> fucking poor Denny's. Oh, <laughs> I, I like their moons over Miami. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good sandwich. Oh, God. Yeah, so they're so the best part about Denny's is their menu writers. Right. <laughs> who who was the who was the one that had like the Rudy Tootie fresh and fruity? Remember that one? That, that's that's uh, the that's IHOP. Right? Oh yeah, it was IHOP. Oh man, Do they have IHOP where you are, Ratmus. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, I think IHOP, IHOP is, is everywhere. I bet, dude, International House of Pancakes. It's everywhere. Oh, that's right. They have one in <laughs> Beijing. <laughs> they have one in Seoul. You and know. by the way, in Beijing, there's a shitty steak, egg, and cheese bagel from McDonald's, too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm sorry. Uh, that it was good. I can't help uh, it. It was very good. Too. I almost wanted to go buy a second one because oh, it was that good. Oh, good Lord. But that, I, haven't had, yeah. I haven't had one in, like, probably a year. That's probably or why. More, probably. You know that hey, they is, sneak. Is Mc... Oh, sorry. Go no, ahead. You, you, you go ahead. Go ahead. Hey. I saw a sign up and it said, say farewell to the McRib or something. Are they completely getting rid of it? Like there's yeah, never going to be a yeah, McRib Yeah, you know again? what the deal no. is with that? The deal They'll with never. that is that is that the animal that they made that out of has now gone extinct. Is that it? That's probably true. <laughs> I, I doubt it. No, that, that, that's <laughs> the, <laughs> the animal they made it out of. <laughs> I'm just telling you. The McRib. The, there's, a, there's a McRib animal out there. Hey. That's it. The, you know, the McRibalopes are floating the around out there, man. <laughs> oh my God! What what was it? Satan said on our, our channel the other day that they're they're somehow trying to like create meat, <laughs> like from a cloning thing. Oh, oh, they oh already that. yeah, that's the no, no. But he he was like he was like, oh, it's you know, no cruelty to animals is going to replace like meat. Yeah. I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? He goes, yeah, it's the equivalent of tofu. I'm like, well, that's not a high bar, dude. <laughs> Listen, where they can come, they can actually clone meat, uh, but it, you know it doesn't have blood that's going through it. You know, so they well, can. Well, where's the juice? Uh, it just does. It's not red, but it has all the protein and uh, nutrients that regular oh. meat have. What does it taste like? like? That sounds like uh, a choke I don't know. I've never tasted it. Tastes like shit, probably. Yeah, sounds like a choke sandwich. I don't know. I don't know. They're they're constantly trying to make stuff all right. be yeah, that, we're, that we're like at this point things. we're like one step away from fucking Soylent Green already. Jesus Christ. What? What? Everybody just eat grass. Yeah, so we're Soylent Green. You know what Soylent Green yeah. is? You've never seen the movie Soylent Green. Uh-uh. Oh my god, that fell flat. Soylent Green <laughs> is made of people. Oh. It was a movie in the future about how everybody was eating soil and green. It's like, oh, the new flavor is chicken. Oh, the new flavor is beef. And it came out of these little pasty tubes. That's what everybody ate. And then at the end of the movie, like the guy was like, he found out like the factory where they were making it. It was like, oh my God, it's people. Because they were crushing, you know, people up in and making oh. them, making this paste. They called it From 1973. Green. Yeah. Yeah. I thought you guys would have seen something like that. I have not seen it, but I'll watch it today. Golly. Well, you don't have to watch it on my account, but. No, I want to watch it now. Louise. Oh, and you know what's funny? It says it's the year 2022. Right? Oh, what are the odds of that? I don't know. What I It must have been the subconscious mind that picked up it on that. Be. Good grief. Well, this is a longer <laughs> outro. About, you want to talk about old things that go forward? Isn't <laughs> like, wasn't the date that the Jetsons occurred like recently? 2025 was that it I, I heard the other day there was there was some tie-in to either 2021 or 2022 for the jetsons by the way this is the longest closing word i know for two people <laughs> ever is, <laughs> and and, and retmus uh, tried to do a dramatic pause and ended early i know right i had nothing to say according to uh george jetson was born J july 31st 2022 Oh, he was born. Oh, yeah. Born okay. then. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So it was far ahead of that. So we still have a chance, folks, to, to fly around in spaceships. Jetson's just a fucking baby right now. Yeah. That's it. I mean, it came on in like, what, 60s? It was what? by Hanna Barbera. The actual cart yeah, the actual cartoon was in the 60s. Yeah. Yeah. Same time around Flintstones, wasn't it? It was after yeah. Flintstones, wasn't it? Or was yeah. it before? No, I, it, I think they did a crossover. 
Yeah, they did. At, definitely at one point. So about the same time. Yeah, they're about the same time. I don't know which one came first. I want to say gotcha. the Flintstones came first because of the, uh, we saw it in black and white. I it love was, yeah, the Flintstones, and they, had they had dinosaurs, so they had to be first. <laughs> well, yeah. yeah, logically, right? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking dinosaurs. Flintstones was great. Fred was awesome. Yeah. Do you remember those those uh, back in the day? Like like you see, you can still see them on the internet. Like YouTube will have like the Flintstones smoking ads. They're all smoking fucking Winston cigarettes behind the pad. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Check them out. They're all over YouTube. You just look it up, and it's like uh, the Flintstones smoking, and right there it is. There's Fred oh, and Barney wow. having a puff out behind the shed. So Flintstones was in the six, 1960s, or 1960, and the Jetsons came out in 62. Yeah, okay. And the Flintstones lasted for six years. Yeah. Wow, that's a lot of Flintstones. Yeah, it Jeez, is. we got a lot of. This is a long. This is a long ending. Thanks this is a long this, ending. Folks. I was just thinking, we're never going to end the show. We're just going to sit here and I bullshit. I thought we were going to be done fucking fifteen minutes ago. Oh boy. Well, okay then. Uh, let's let's go ahead and wrap this thing up. I think Biff wants to go handle his meat. <laughs> let's go. Let's let's go around the horn. <laughs> We've already gone around the horn. Oh, okay. You need to go handle your meat. <laughs> and, okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> thanks for indulging oh, us oh, oh. oh i gotta oh, interrupt sh- oh. didn't last time you say you were going to go smoke something in the smoker that you never did before and you were going to tell us yeah i did chili chili how it did it turn awesome. out was it, it turned out awesome okay you never gave Super. us an update no i gave you an update on our cask and smokehouse channel on well but you AAD said it on the server. channel for everybody so you know you need well to listen if you're not a part of aad screw you <laughs> you, All right. that's one of the benefits there's only one person in the whole dcl community that gets to see my food picks mm-hmm. um outside of our alliance and he knows who he is i think i know who he is too yeah you probably do yeah anyways right. <laughs> let's, folks, wrap, let's let's wrap this up yeah thanks a lot yeah, for we- indulging us folks we're gonna see y'all next time thanks